Lebanon has been no stranger to refugees in recent times, even before the Syrian conflict. But now, despite earnest efforts from the government, there is enormous pressure on Lebanese infrastructure. A report published on Tuesday by Human Rights Watch confirms that more than 250,000 Syrian refugee children in Lebanon between the ages of 15 and 18 do not have access to education. Less than 3% were enrolled in a Lebanese public school in the academic year 2015-2016. At this refugee camp in the Beka Valley, many of these children now face a life without education. The reasons include costs, barriers to enrollment, intimidation and harassment. Saddam al Yassem, a Syrian child, told reporters, I don't like school. They don't teach us and they hit us. I stopped school seven months ago. I want to work, live, provide money for the house and family. We want to eat. I want to buy and play on my bike and play football. Despite genuine efforts from the Lebanese government, the Human Rights Watch report reveals that their policies are being unevenly applied and that for girls and disabled children the situation is particularly arduous. Lebanese public schools reject disabled pupils, citing lack of resources. Some families fear arrest if they send their children to school since they do not have the residency permits. Bassam Kawaja of Human Rights Watch said, we're calling on the Lebanese government to immediately revise its residency regulations, uh, specifically by waiving the annual $200 fee for Syrians to maintain their legal status, uh, the requirement to either sign a pledge not to work or to provide a Lebanese sponsor. More than 280,000 people have died as a result of the Syrian conflict since March 2011. More than half the country's inhabitants have left. Without access to education, the children affected will have no hope of acquiring the skills to play a positive role in their host countries or in the reconstruction and the future of Syria, the report said.